everyone as you can see this kitchen is quite messy and unorganized so today i'm going to be styling it and organizing it so i'm able to take photos for instagram so if you are new to my channel welcome be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell of the course notified every time i upload a new video so we're going to start off with the messiest part of the kitchen which is the kitchen bench over here we're going to start off with loading the dishwasher since the sink is quite full. So we have this pink bowl. Pull that over to the top there. It looks like there is some cutlery already inside. And there is a total of four plates. So what's really great is that there's a little compartment. We'll place all of the plates like that and we'll close it shut. We're going to be adding the bananas into the bowl over here like that. And we'll move the cups. And what we're going to do is we're going to stack the measuring cups like that and we'll place it over to the side just so that there's a lot more space to add more kitchen items over by the top. Looks like we have some more measuring cups over here so we're going to stack those like we did the other ones. We've got this one over here and then the final one and we'll move those over to the top shelf. And let's place the measuring cups next to the blue ones over here like so. And then we'll also move these bowls over to the top shelf too. So it looks like this section is completely organized. So let's go ahead and move on to the shelf. There's an extra sugar canister and a flour one. There's also a sugar and a flour canister over on the top shelf. So we'll just add those next to those ones. So we have flour and sugar. And then maybe what we'll do is we'll put the two sugar containers together. They're a little bit different in the packaging, but of course it's the same item. And then flour can move in and this flour container can go right next to it. So this section is completely organized and styled. We have nearly finished with this section of the kitchen. So there is some toast in the toaster. There is some lasagna. And then we also have some more food over here. There's definitely a lot of mess over here. I'm not sure what's going on. So it looks like a mix of a tea party and then there's also some dessert as well. First off, we have this random plate here. We'll move that out of the way. We don't need that. There's some tea party cups. There's also some pink lemonade. What I might do is I might move the tea party cups out of the way and we'll just keep the pink lemonade drinks. We'll add the jelly onto the plates like that and we'll just make it a little bit more organized. We'll add the spoon over here for the jelly. We'll do the same for the other side as well. So it looks like there is a fun little dessert party set up. There is some chocolate cake, strawberry cake, and some sandwiches too. And I wonder what this box is. This is pancake mix. So what we'll do is, I don't think it'll stand up like that. We'll just have it laying just like this so we can see what the box is, but we should be able to close the door. Over on this side of the kitchen, there's a few items. It's not as unorganized as the other section of the kitchen, but there's some cutlery. There's a little cutlery drawer. So we'll add those in there. We might put the fry pan in the dishwasher. So we'll add that in later on. And then we have some cinnamon rolls, which look amazing. We'll place those inside of the fridge like that, just because there's some extra space. And we'll go ahead and leave the pink lemonade and the mixer on the shelf there. And all we need to do is add the fry pan into the dishwasher. We'll place it there like that. And we'll close the dishwasher door like so. And as you can see, the kitchen is now all organized and styled with different accessories. It's perfect because I can now take photos for Instagram and film some reels too. Hey everyone, this kitchen is quite messy and unorganized. So today we're going to be styling it up and cleaning it so I'm able to take photos for Instagram. There's quite a few different food items and kitchen accessories around the kitchen. So we're going to be reorganizing it. So let's go ahead and start off with this table here. We're going to be placing a lot of these items back in the refrigerator. So we have a few different food items and they're in takeout boxes. So we have some buffalo wings and celery. We'll close the lid. We also have some pita pockets with some falafels. That can go there. And then there's some eggs too, and that's in a carton. There's a total of six. And then there's also a slice of pizza in a container too. There is some milk. So we're going to place all of those back in the fridge and we'll place this in the trash can. It looks like there is a block of cheese already inside the fridge, but we're just going to be placing some more of the food items. We have one of the takeout boxes there, another one that can go in the bottom with the pizza slice that can go on top with the container of eggs. And then the milk can just go on the side of the fridge door. There's quite a few items on this trolley here. A lot of the items don't actually belong in this setup, so we'll move it to different parts of the kitchens. But first off, we have these baking items. They're little gingerbread men. They're so cute. But we're going to add those over to the other side of the kitchen later on. There's also a box of pancake mix that can go in the pantry, and the salad can go in the refrigerator. 
We also have some measuring spoons. There's a total of three and that can go over by the back of the kitchen. These items are going to stay on the trolley though. We have a total of four of these lollipops and they stand up over by the side. There's a compartment for each one. There's a red lollipop, an orange one, a blue one, and a green one. And then there's also some jelly beans and this stand is perfect for the pumpkin pasties. They were over by the table, so let's go ahead and grab those so we can add them to the trolley. And here we have the pumpkin pasties on the other side of the table. So there's a total of four of them. So we'll just place them on this little stand. They're so cute. And then also these jars of candies go on the trolley too. So we'll place both of them like that. So that section is completely organized. We'll organize the second and third shelf later on. But then we also have these measuring cups that can go with the measuring spoons. So there is some fizzing Wisby candy. It's just some type of popping chocolate. That looks amazing. There's also a chocolate frog. There's some more white chocolate over here. And then we have this blueberry candy as well. So we'll stand all of those up just so that they're a little bit more organized. So this section is completely styled. Let's keep going with the rest of the kitchen. We have some baking molds already here. So a little Christmas ornament and a star. They're so cute. We'll place the gingerbread ornaments right next to that. Then there's also a piping bag, some sprinkles. There's a little rolling pin and some dough. So this section is completely solid, but as you can see, this bottom section is quite unordered. Here we have a kettle and a bottle of oil. We're going to move both of those out of the way. We might leave the grater here just over by the side and this baking book as well. And we'll place the apron with the oven mitt over just on the other side of this setup. So as you can see, this section is organized and styled. We have this coffee cup that's going to go ahead and go in the trash can since it's empty, but there are some clean cutlery items in the sink. So there's some forks and spoons, so we'll place those back, and then the plates are all clean as well. So we'll go ahead and just add those over to the side. We'll leave this here because we don't have an area for it in the kitchen. I think it's perfectly fine as part of this little setup, but the pizza can go in the oven that's all ready to go and we'll place the spices over in the spice section. And let's add the pizza into the oven. And I love the little pizza tray it comes with as well. And we'll close it like that and we'll turn it on. So we have the measuring spoons that can go on the hooks here and the measuring cups as well. Hopefully those stay in place. There we go. And then the spices, there's paprika and that can go on the spice shelf over by the back. And there's cinnamon as well. Two really great options, so we'll place those right over there. So here we have the flour and sugar. I love this little side cabinet just on top of the refrigerator. It's the perfect storage space for the flour and sugar containers. So the flour one's already standing up. Let's go ahead and fix the sugar container. We do also have the garden salad mix that can go over in this compartment like that. And there's just some space under the sink to add the kettle. There's also the container of oil and the pancake mix too. And here we have an overview of the kitchen. It's completely organized and styled. All the different kitchen accessories and food items have all been organized into different cupboards, shelving, and then the fridge too. So thank you so much for watching this video and I really hope you enjoyed it.